Hi, my name's Teresa, and you're watching Between Two Wheels. How are you? I hope everybody is really good. You know, this channel has been, it has been, um, it's been a good thing for me. You know, I started this last February, and when I started it, I, I really didn't know what it was going to be all about. You know, I had thought about starting a YouTube channel oh, a few years ago. So for whatever reason, I didn't. Now, hindsight, I'm wishing that I had started a, a YouTube channel earlier just to kind of go back and, well, I'm sure I would have looked back and been like, oh my gosh, you're a mess, T. What is wrong with you? But anyway, it is what it is, and I am glad that I started this channel, uploading videos to this channel last year. You know, I am just, every day I'm blown away, and I am, I'm really humbled by the the fact that you you're just you're watching this video you're watching me talk about and share you know some of my life um, you know and I'm doing it for a bunch of reasons you know just to educate to let people know what it's what multiple sclerosis is all about and being in a wheelchair and I don't you know sometimes I I don't I know I don't talk a lot about being in the in the chair and I have a lot of really um, I think kind of cool ideas that I would like to uh, to do with the channel it's just it always involves other people because I am so limited on what I can do. So if I could hire a um, camera person, that would be awesome. And so I just want to say thank you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching it. Thank you for sharing sharing it with other people. Um, and thank you for commenting, sending me emails. It It just it's really awesome. It's really awesome. And if I can connect with anyone, with you, and teach you something or show you perhaps a better way to, to do something or just, just to, just for you to take away, wow, I, I'm grateful today. Um, you know, I get, you know, I've had a lot of people say to me, wow, it takes a lot to like put yourself out there, get, get, get in front of the camera and then kind of, you know, display and, 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 uh, words. I can't find words. You know, the brain fog is just, it's bad. It's really bad. I'm always about a sentence ahead of myself to think, okay, am I gonna come out with the right word? You know, and I know on the huge scale of things, like not being able to uh, kind of uh, just say what I want to say and sometimes think and, you know, my memory is, um, my memory's really being affected in the in within the past year to year and a half. This is all new stuff. And it kind of stinks. Sometimes I just feel like ugh, you know? Um And also there there could be it could be a, an element of um you know, change with all this change and stuff that's gonna 
come this following this coming week um, with you know a caregiver coming in and and switching things up and any kind of change is a uh, you know it changes constant we know that but uh, it can kind of throw a wrench in uh, in my everyday just daily daily life that's why I stress you know the importance in my life um, of simplicity and I am grateful enough to have that choice and flexible enough to you know because if you talk to anybody with MS they'll tell you every day can be a new adventure <laughs> and I'm saying adventure as in it can be where your legs aren't working one day your balance is off you have more fatigue one day um, you know your eyes can be affected one day your memory uh, even your speech you know it's it's just it's always throwing new and different things at you so you know you have to be willing to to uh, kinda go with the flow and again I am you know I'm gonna say fortunate enough that I can I live a life that I can go with the flow uh, now I always I push myself I I purposely push myself to a limit that I know won't uh, hurt my uh, my body and and uh, you know that I go backwards but I'm every day I push the limit um, if I go to the gym and I just use the gym as, a, as an example because that the gym is one thing that's always my constant if I say I'm going to stand at, um, like I can stand up if I'm going to stand for X amount of minutes and I reach that goal I always stand an additional 20 seconds in my life 20 seconds is a long time to stand when I'm already feeling fatigued my legs are getting shaky and and uh, you know uh, some spasticities coming in so I just push myself always to, to that next degree you know I take pride in pushing myself keeping myself going and that just doesn't go uh, physically that is a you know it's all mental I'm always saying on here I'm always saying to myself you know how mental this is everything in life is mental whatever you want to do as long as you can as long as even when you don't think you can do it what is it Walt Disney says if you think you can or you think you can't you're right and boy oh boy you know having this disease has taught me some really valuable lessons in my life and I think I really think right here right now in my life I am a much better person because of my MS you know and I have to remind myself not as much as I used to because it becomes you know my thoughts become actions and then actions you know be become our, our habits ultimately and I have created a habit of that is how I am accepting and 
and being okay with this MS being a part of me. It is a part of me. And with that comes accepting. I know I've talked about this stuff a lot, and I guess I just need to, uh, you know, remind myself. So if somebody is watching this particular video for the first time, first, hi, welcome. My name's Teresa. I've had multiple sclerosis for 17 years. I have primary progressive MS. I have been in a wheelchair for 11 or 12 of those years. I am 49, 49, 49 years old, and right here, right now, as I'm talking to you, life is good. Life is good. We all have challenges. We all have stuff, but my life right now is good. And I hope your life is good. Welcome to the video. I hope you, um, I hope you come back for more. I hope you subscribe. If you want to share this video with someone you think could uh, use this right now or learn about this right now, that would be great. You can get in touch with me between two wheels at gmail.com. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm digging doing the videos. Because you know, th this is like bigger than me. And I'm not saying this is, you know, like, oh, this is so huge and what I'm doing is going to change the world and change. <laughs> no, I'm, you know, you know, it's used so often. And it's like, if I can just help one person, but I really mean that. And you know, it all comes from helping myself. And I, I believe these videos, you know, th they are helping me as much as they might be helping, encouraging, um, teaching you. Make yourself the number one priority in your life. It's, you know, and just that love yourself. It's hard sometimes, but you know what? The longer I'm here and the more I'm learning and you know, be okay with whatever situation we are at in our lives. And if we have the power to change that situation, and you choose to change that situation, to be a better version of yourself, do it, man. Do it. You know, I try and I wake up every morning with one goal to try and make it the best day possible. And then there are some times when I know I'm not in that best place, but I'm in, when I'm in that moment, I really have to strip it back to, to, to a moment, to just a minute, a second, break it down. And then it just makes it also, sometimes it makes it also like trivial where it's like, oh my gosh, you know, like they say, don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff. Well, that small stuff does, it can create bigger stuff. And if, you know, and if you're choosing, if you're choosing not to, uh, to change your stuff, if you know you have to, then I guess, I guess I'm, well, no, I, I still am talking to you because you're, maybe you're just not in the right space right now. 
my thing is I just want to kind of tell people try not to wait try not to put off you know and I'm saying that now sitting here in a wheelchair I am saying just go just do it whatever you're thinking about right now whatever has been on your mind that thing we all have that thing you know what it is you know right now what that thing is that I'm talking about my gosh just do it break through that fear and do it and don't do not let that fear stop you or or because those feet that fear is just thoughts you know don't let yesterday dictate your right now right here because the fear that you're feeling is just projection on your future that you have no idea and and big deal if you go to do something and you don't succeed you know wh whatever that means um, wouldn't you rather wouldn't you rather have the fear make you fall forward than backwards you know let the fear be a driving motivator to say yeah I, I'm gonna do this I'm going to you know blank or XYZ whatever that thing is um, just do it just push stop on those tapes that are just going on in your head going on in your head all that I can't do it or or I'll do it next week and or oh the fear of what people say I can't you know what you know all those all, all that shit talk you know that we create and and or we we allow in you know from other people or just society or whatever it is you know and then build this huge thing or and just just stop just stop and I'm saying this out loud I'm saying this to myself this is stuff that I say to myself a lot because I need to I want to and I believe it makes me a better person you know I'm always striving to be a better version of myself I'm telling you the number one thing in in my life is listening and allowing fear to take over and dominate and damn it I refuse I refuse to do it this life is way too short way too short and it's here to be celebrated and enjoyable you know if something's not serving you and something's not driving you to be a better person and and bringing you down then stop don't do it reassess where you're at let it all go let it go and that brings us right back into thinking right here in the now not what happened yesterday last week last month last year last decade and not thinking about what's gonna happen tomorrow or even an hour from now or you know all those conversations we have in our heads and just trying to plan out situation it ain't here you know don't worry about it just take a breath right here and I guarantee if you just stop and mentally just drop all the stuff all that heavy heavy stuff just drop it let it go for one two three seconds take a breath and just smile when you're doing it you know I mean these are all cheesy things 
I know they're cheesy things, a lot of the cl cliches and all this kind of stuff, but you know, they're cliches for a reason. They're, you know, all these uh, quotes and, and books and self-help that I, I am just, it's, it's what I, it's, it's how I create my environment and how I, you know, when people say, how do you deal? How do you cope? How do you stay positive? How do you this? How do you that? You know, it all just comes back to what I, what I allow into my life. And it is work. It's work. You know, I'd love to just tell people, well, it's all just natural. You know, it's just my DNA and, uh, you know, and, and it just comes natural. It, it doesn't come natural. Now, when you, again, create habits, get in that momentum, um, get things going, trutzing along the road at a nice speed. But, you know, you can't let your ego and get too cocky about that because there's always some, uh, some bumps in the road. Uh, you know, and it's like, look, no hands go over a big dip and all of a sudden you're all over the place and it's like, whoa! You know, and then it's, well, how the hell did that happen? Well, you know, you kind of were uh, kind of sleeping at the wheel, you know? So, I, I don't know. I'm just... Oh my gosh, I just a rambled. You know, what do you think? What do you think? You think you can give it a try? I think you can give it a try. I think you can give it a try. Do it for me. If you can't do it for yourself right now, or you can't do it for anybody else, do it for me. Do something that you would say, oh, Teresa would kind of be proud of me for doing that. You know? We all have the ability. Okay, I'm going to go now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to go. I just wanted to say hi and welcome. Thank you for subscribing to these videos. Thanks for watching them. We have created a nice community of people and it's and it's it's uh, growing every day and you know through again through this disease I have found some really cool nice amazing people mm -hmm. and I think you are one of those people so thank you thank you very much Toodaloo.